Hello everyone and welcome back. I am the James with the games and welcome back to being part of the missing members and wow that my webcam's actually really dark right now. I'm actually going to turn on the light behind me. <laughs> There we go, now you can actually see me. But we're starting right back where we were at the end of the last episode. But first off, we're going to craft ourselves our first weapon. Because of even though it's only two points of strength higher and two critical damage, strength in this game is super important. But now, it is time for the next area, which is the Mountain of Death. And... If I remember right, the big Biju have nothing really important, but the small Biju drop something that's really useful. But... And croc. Bear out. I have no clue how you actually pronounce the A with the tilde in Portuguese. So perhaps someone could educate me on that. And actually wait, I think that's the right way to go. So we're gonna head this way first. Bizoy! Yep, this is the wrong way to go, so... First off, heading here to get a level 2 stone. Fortunately, we need a second level 1 before that level 2 is useful. back up and heal real fast because of I know of my current health I am not going to last back last till the next save point and let's see what the charge attack is Ooh, that was pretty And it has a substantially longer range than our standard swing. So that's good for right now. The other nice thing about going back to the healing chambers is that when you die and you press continue, it actually resets you to the save data. And increase our crit rate. And still no drops yet. I do have 10 luck. Still no drops. <laughs> Steel, although I just use steel for the only recipe steel is used for in the game. Head left first. Gorilla de Pedra, or the Stone Gorilla. And this is what, actually one of the few recolors in the game. I don't remember if that actually spawns anywhere else in here. And... 
check the map real quick. And I am there. Okay, the other way was the way that I don't need to go. And pop up here, see if... Nope, no drop. <laughs> oh, we can't do that until we beat the boss. room. This room. If things don't go right, it can be... Quite the game of pinball getting every... getting to go where you need to go. Oh, the spikes. is to get to the end of the area to fight the boss. Personally, I think that I should do games like this is instead of Let's Plays as live streams, so that way you can ask me questions and laugh at my own failures in real time. What did I receive? Fortunately, I do not think that provides me any use. Yeah, I need one animal bone, one animal skin in order to make these. Painite, garnet. Wait, I just changed tabs. I need a cord and a stone for that. Yeah, I can't really use that for anything right now. Gah! Jump this way, jump that way. Okay, this one, one is going to be... Gah, quit falling off these super tiny ledges! The dumb thing is the small ones, you can attack their hands, but the big ones you can't. And I never understood that design decision. And that's down. And as you can tell, these are boss doors. Thankfully, right over here is a save point. And there's nothing in that wall. Okay. Now, time for the second boss.
which is Tronco Modificado. <laughs> Thankfully, this boss is stationary, which means you can wail on it quite a bit. And wait for the spikes to retract. Jump back. Good grief, I am getting hit by this thing with its really easily televised attacks. Way too frequently. Get down, get down, get down. And... Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, I have four health. And since I'm only 12 and a half minutes into this recording, time to face the boss again. And second time's the charm. <laughs> I don't get why the room is on fire, but okay. And you've learned a new skill. Wait just a second here. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to save first, and then I'll figure out what in the world my problem is. There we go. Solved my problem. All right, now we have the second boss skill, which is something I don't think the devs of this game actually program correctly because of this basically means you can go anywhere in the game so long as you have enough mana. Yep, and as I sort of said earlier, the big bijus, all they give are steel. I'm pretty sure the small bijus give out gemstone. And that's the bear anyhow. So, actually, how many enemies here do I actually need to look up? Just the bijoy and the little bijus. That is it. And with that, I'm going to 
cut back to the one room in which we couldn't get through earlier. why this is so broken. Well, half of it. But the other half, we need to get to a very vertical room first. This thing will just walk over top of spikes for you. <laughs> but overall, this isn't as impressive as it's other true ability. And I'm pretty sure there's an area nearby which we can abuse this on. And I'm going to cut till I get to the start of this area since this is actually... Yeah, this is everything that's within this area. You do not have to come back to this section of the game again unless you're trying to 100% the best CR. Also, yes, that was the other thing I was wanting to do. The weird thing about the gemstones for the crafting in this game is that early on for like the first, like, I want to say like five or six biomes, pretty much the only... stone that enemies drop is muscovite. Sure, I've gotten two opals from the fish, but also just getting 10 crit damage at this point isn't really going to help me. And I'm pretty sure I can actually get a pearl relatively soon, but I'm at full health. Why am I saving? If I'm reading this right... The thing that we can go ahead and seize with the trunk is right in this next room over here, which I said we can go ahead and seize after the next boss. But this takes a bit of precision, so let's see if I can do it right. Oh. No, I can't do this yet. I actually need the double jump. Never mind. I'm just being a big dumb dummy head. So go ahead. Just get up, get the MP heal. And 
jump the other direction. And now we have our trusty little platform here. Ride us all the way across this massive spike room. <laughs> I've actually never had that happen before. game but I don't think they actually dropped anything useful if I remember right hidden in a wall. Seriously, game, you really think I need that? Given how I have, like, 20 of them, but at the very least, it did give me some shoes. Which, where are they? They're right, way down here. Two defense! which is used for the second stage of sword building. And this is probably the place where I should grind up out that bezoid for, for straw. And now head back over Man. And I died. I'll be right back to that area. Okay, and we're back. And this time we didn't let the fear kill us. And that one's floating in midair. But anyways, the real reason why we headed all this way is to get something that's in this next room. At least I thought it was in this next room. Oh, I'm one room away. right here. The double jump. Is this all you can do? Please, spare me! And dead. <laughs> hey, you! <laughs>
And I still don't know how she managed to get through a passage that is blockaded. But anyways, that's actually the main reason we were down here. This opens up... Plenty of other things. Primarily, you remember when I said back in episode 2, 1, where after beating the second boss, you will have... A path open up to you. And another death! Well, that's where we're going to head back to. And also, simply put, <laughs> I'm not going to go ahead and show, you, show me getting that item again. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content to come aboard the Starship LP, where no matter if you're a hero, villain, or NPC, you're... I hope to see you in heaven one day. And share my content if you enjoy my work. It really does help me out. Because if YouTube doesn't like promoting small content creators like me. But anyways, see you next time.